the summits of our generation. Summit Theophilus. It is how you celebrate what happens. Thank you, please, 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 please. Thank you. Um, we don't have time on our side, and we need to do serious business. We've been doing very serious business. We are yet going to do serious business. Um, whatever posture is ideal for you to take, you can take. You may want to sit, you may want to stand, Whichever poster. Uh, I just want to ask us some few questions that are very, very important to this. Um, thank you. That are very, very important to our. Let, permit me to call it. Our modern, our modern day Christianity. We want to pray a little. We want to say, Lord, make a Christian out of me. Yes, that, that prayer point may not make any sense to you, but uh, if you know what, if you have studied your Bible and you know who a Christian is, you will know that we lack Christians. Yes. We lack Christians. We lack Christians. And th thank God for everything that God has been doing with us on this mountain. We give him praise. Can you celebrate Jesus for everything that he's done? Can you help me celebrate these wonderful people? Yes. All right, uh, before we pray, just open your Bible to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse number 30. If somebody wants to sleep, leave them. Let them sleep. You, want, you are tired, you want to sleep, you can't sleep. It, it means that there's, you are, you don't, there's nothing... Somebody that has issues that can't sleep. So Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30. Verse 30. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the edge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it but I found none ke amo mo sasale mampela bresco sisele mantelia falako mama hababua mesufe felato mi ke po bayanane as I continue to read that scriptures, it will begin to make sense to many of us that are here. I know that some of us have ministries, some of us are pastors, some of us are ushers in church, some of us are deacons, some of us are, are ministers. But as I begin to read the scriptures, you will know what God desires from every one of us. And I sought for a man. You know, there's a difference between when a man is looking for something and when God is looking for something. There's a huge difference. 
Are you understanding me? If something is scarce for man to find, that is explainable. Like, if something is hard for man to find, that is explainable. When something become, becomes hard for God to find, you see, <laughs> now, mind you, in this generation, they were praying men. They were priests. They were teachers. They were prophets in this generation. Mm, they were ministers in this generation. They were husbands in this generation. They were, think of anything that you term spiritual, but God was looking for what? A man. And I began to wonder how that in a whole territory, God could not find one man. One. He doesn't need many people. What he needs is a man. One. One. How many of us are in this building? We should be up to, let's say, 500. Right? What is the state of Port Harcourt? Eh? Okay, this, this, sorry. This is Rivers, right? Okay, yes. What is, sorry, um, the spiritual state... Permit me, I'm narrowing it, narrowing it down to the youth. My heart is boiling, that's why I'm, I'm now, I'm, let us narrow it down to the youth. What is the state of your youth in this territory? Eh? Terrible. Okay, let's, let's not go outside the building. How many of us here that pray in tongues have been free from addictions? I know that you you may think that we, we are too conscious of sin. No, the reason why we are saying it is that Satan does not mind you praying in tongues but he minds you living right. Do you understand what I just said? Satan does not have problem if you can pray 12 hours but he has problem if you live righteous. You know why? It is the prayer of the righteous man. Wait, 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 wait. This is not, it's not, it's not, we are, we are, we, are, we don't, we are, I'm not saying this so that we clap. I'm saying this, that the reason why, hmm. every one of us in church, both he that stands on the pulpit to minister and he that sits to listen, must be drenched with purity. Yes. From the pulpit to the pew must be pure. And only then can God gain total access to a territory. I repeat, your family will be under siege with your speaking tongues. God does not thrive in a place he can give to that place. But he will not dwell in that place. He won't. The essence of what I'm saying is that we want to do a little, a little, a little intercession. A, a little. A little. So that we will not be young men and young girls or who the Spirit of God comes upon, use, and then he leaves. We want to be carriers. Mm. Carriers. If you read the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 6, it says, Know ye not that your body is the temple. The word temple there, but is a shrine. Spirits don't dwell in houses, they dwell in shrines. <laughs> There's a difference between a house and a shrine. Mala, ye kwa ma mesus membelame. I want us to take a little time, little time, and then do a quick, a quick scan of your personal life. You know, some of us, now that you are seated here, you are afraid of living here. Because you know if you live here, that habit that you thought you left, you will become a slave. Let me give you a sign for you to know that you are a slave to an addiction. Anytime you find yourself doing something, even when you want to say no, you are already a slave. 
And what a slave does is that he rebels. Yes. He rebels. Some of you, you are, you, you are afraid of living, you are, you are afraid of living this place. The reason why you are afraid is because you don't carry the Holy Spirit yet. He comes to visit you. That's why you pray anytime you like. Yes. The scripture asks that we pray at all what? You don't pray because you feel like praying. You pray because the Spirit is praying. And when is the Spirit praying? All times. Are you, are you, are you, are you understanding me? So, huh. I, young man, all your speaking tongues. What? Are, let's not let's not go to the thirty-three yet. What has happened to you? You. Then what has happened to your immediate family? Your brother, your sister, the. What has happened? What, what is the fruit of your knowing Jesus in that family? What, what, has, what can you show? You know there are some people that your, your youngest that will look at you. The reason why your youngest that cannot sin is not because she knows Jesus. She has not met as a matter of fact, she, she may not even like to pray. But she has, a, she has an elder brother or an elder sister that's a model. A model. You are not saying, go and pray. No. But anytime she sees you, she, in her heart, she says, Lord, I want to be like God, please. I, don't want, I want to be like this man. You don't understand that purity is contagious. Yes, that's that's the nature of God that does not announce itself. It, it doesn't speak, but it is contagious. And here is God saying, "I sought for a man." Please bring up that scripture again, Ezekiel twenty-two verse thirty. I want to show us that many of us eh, we have learned how to stand before the public, and we've lost how to stand before God. And I sought for a man. Among them that should make up the edges and what and stand in the gap before me, where before me, right? I thought it's going to be and stand in the gap between me, it was before me. You cannot intercede for a territory if you are not first standing before the Lord, yes. If you are not first, if you don't have a stand. That is before the Lord. Eh? Forget your intercession. And one of the first weapon of an intercessor is purity. The, your, your, your first weapon. Your first weapon is what? Is purity. Uh, the essence for all of this I'm doing is that we all I don't know where you have journeyed to. I don't know how. Thank God for your giftings. Hmm? We want to pray, we want to take our time to begin to pray for our families. From families, we go into territories. From territories, we go into your state and that. I know what God can do from a meeting here. We, we can affect people that didn't come for the meeting, even people that were not aware. Yes. They, they, they did not see the poster. What you don't know is that they don't need to know that it was through you that it happened. It, it, you don't matter. What matters is your master. They don't need to know that it was through you that they caught fire. The testimony will not do anything for me. I don't care where this gospel leads me to. I don't care if I live or die. All I know is that my Savior must be seen. I proclaim his name whether I live or die. You see, for some of us, ba, if Satan kills us, he will lose more. If he leaves us alive, he is losing. Either ways, he is losing. 
death is not a threat to some of us. It's, it's but a passage. Kwame Lomo, Ame Lame, No Me Lame Kome. Meli Moko Peli, Ama Kambe Bo Me La, Sile Moko Mbaba Imo Moho Beza. Feri Akabase So Membe Lame, Beso Kape Malaita. As I speak, the spirit of conviction is convicting some persons. Yes. What we, this little time we are taking out is to say, Lord, I want to be worthy to stand before you. Not to plead my cause. Not to be known. Not to be visible. But to be that man that will stand in the gap and bring nations to you. Let me be that sacrifice. That sacrifice that you will slay. Mm. I am offering myself on behalf of my family. Let me be that sacrifice. <laughs> uh, Satan have taken maybe three. They have died. Me, I want to become a sacrifice upon the altar that will represent this family that no one will go again. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know priesthood. You don't know priest. A, a priest is already slain. Yes. He doesn't eat the food of men. He eats the food of the God that he serves. Go and read your Bible. You understand that the Levites don't eat, eat anything. They eat what is what the things that is given to the Lord. The, the, there is a path that they will take. And it. Oh, thank you. I hear a sound. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your heart will be quickened. Yes. And you will bear the burden of the Lord. The burden, you will find out that suddenly you cannot sleep over rivers. Yes. You, you cannot just rest. Mm. What, what is troubling you is that, oh God, oh God, shall rivers continue like this? You're, you're not talking about that the government is not working. That's not your problem. There is a kingdom that must come. And because the kingdom is not present, it's, it's a trouble. So, we take out your take out little time now and say, Lord, in any way I have come short of this scripture, show me mercy. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. <laughs> Several times you have prayed concerning that issues in your family, and it seems like it's not working. It's not that prayer is not good, prayer is not potent. It's just that it's only the prayer of a righteous man that is potent. It's the prayer of a righteous man. Don't don't I know don't be religious. It's the prayer of a righteous man that is potent. I, I witnessed some things that were strange to me. <laughs> Maybe when next I come, we'll have time to talk about it. You know, some of us that were doing backup, I'm sorry, I will have to, I have to say it. Because this thing some of you are, some of you are doing, maybe to you is, is one of those things you do to while away time. For some of us, you are joking with our lives. This is not a place for superstars. <laughs> it's not, I'm talking, uh, the people I'm talking to, they know. It's not a place to come and show whether you are, you know how to. Hmm. You don't know Jesus. If you know him, you know that in his love, there's fire. Yes, and that fire consumes. Hey. You, you, you <laughs> he's merciful, but there is another side of his mercy. You know, you just read Bible and you know the Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus is doing something new in this era. Yes, he's doing something new. He's raising men that will proclaim his name and indeed nations will hear and bow. They may not be men that are thick with muscles, but they, they have stature in the realm of the spirit. So let's take out a little time, take out a little time and say, you want to confess 
you want to say, Lord, I am sorry, is take a, is you and him. Is you and him. And paradventure, you want to do that publicly. You are here. You want to give your life to Jesus. It doesn't matter your title. Come forward quickly because the Lord is seeking for men. You want to say, Jesus, I am surrendering my life to you. Run my life. Come forward quickly. Jesus is waiting for you here. We are with you. Like I said, it doesn't matter your title. It doesn't matter who knows you and who does not know you. We don't have that time. Whether you are a protocol, whatever it is, it, it does not matter whether you speak in tongue. There is a nature that you must carry. There's a lady here that um, the things that are happening to you, you are suspecting whether you are whether you are possessed. You are, you are not sure. You are feeling is like you are feeling like you are possessed. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. The Lord will break that yoke this night. And that visitation that you usually have, you will not have them again. There's a pastor here. They are struggling with an addiction. A pastor. I see your face already. You are struggling with an addiction. Hmm. 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 Finally, before I leave your faces. There is a very important matter that uh, I will want us to see. And, and maybe you may have a reason to pray about it. I, I think this goes majorly to anyone who has anything to do with um, the pulpit, like, permit me to use the stage. Anyone who has anything, anything to do with standing before a people to minister. In my little walk with the Lord, right, I've come to understand that there are two, two entities, two, that knows your appetite even more than you. Two. Two entities. They, they know your appetite. They know those things that entice you even more than you. The Holy Spirit and Babylon. Yes. Two. Okay, let, let me use Satan. Satan. That maybe that way you, you, you understand better. You see, there are many of some of us, right? Some of us. Permit me to say many, because I believe there are people listening to me online. There are many. That right now, what you are doing, right now, what you are doing, though you are getting accolades from men, they say, wow, sir, you have blessed me. I was changed. I was transformed. And then somehow, you think you are a threat to Satan. Eh? 
let's, let's be real. Some of us are no threat to Satan. You are no threat. You are not a threat. You know why? He knows what to give you to end your race. Yes. Oh. <laughs> he, he knows that you have, you have not tamed. There's an appetite that you have not tamed. And then even as you are traveling and traveling and traveling, and you, you, you think you are doing exploit. He is not bothered by what you are doing. Yes, he's not bothered because he knows what he knows what to do. That that you will stop running. <laughs> you see, for some of our ladies, what Babylon will settle them with is a good husband. You know what I mean by good husband? He doesn't beat you. He gives you everything you need. But it was after you got married that we looked for you in Zion. We couldn't find you. Yes. Uh, so for some of us, it's good job. You don't, you don't know how Babylon operates. Sometimes, Babylon comes like answered prayer. <laughs> some of us, ministers, what Babylon will say to you with is what you call open door. You know open door. Yeah, yeah. And many of us are so happy to stand and say there was a time I was suffering. How Babylon does it is that he doesn't stop you from preaching but your message will change. <laughs> <laughs> at your neighbor say, tame your appetite. <laughs> Satan will settle you and you will not know. You will think God has brought you to rest. Yes. What, what many of us call rest is a settlement from Babylon. A settlement. And so, once as you are doing, you are praying, and Satan looks. He said, is that Peter? Give him a fine girl. He knows that that one will settle you. He will know. He knows that that one that he gave you. Your, your, your matter is forgotten. He is okay that you are still praying. But he has settled you. We want to take, take, take a little time and pray. I say, Lord, you know me more than, more than I know me. Mm. Search me. Search me. For some of you, what Satan will say to you with is popularity. Many of you yet do not know that popularity is a trap. You, you don't know. You are struck. You are, you are doing all that you can so that you will. <laughs> and you are deceiving yourself that you want to push the gospel. I don't know what power you have to expose Jesus. I, I don't know. <laughs> Serious men are afraid to be are, they are afraid to be seen online. You want to anything online. <laughs> Did they say if, if he, God allows Satan to set to you with that you are looking for, we may not find you again. I'm sorry to say this. You have not noticed. You have not noticed that many of our ministers they are behaving like celebrities. Yes, you you, you travel somewhere. You travel somewhere. You will snap and put on. You snap yourself in aeroplane. Snap yourself in hotel room. You think you're a tourist? You are not a tourist. You are a missionary. You don't you you don't know what you are doing. You think you think that is breakthrough? 
If you know what it means to represent Elohim, you will be afraid. We are going to pray. Before I drop this mic. Say, Jesus, you know me more than I know myself. Search me. Bring out those tendencies. So that I don't go and disgrace you in the day that you bring me out. Bring out those tendencies. Search me. Search me. Search me. I don't want to bring shame to your name. No glory in this world. No greatness here for me. No glory in this world. My great reward is you. To your own trade you for gold. Your presence is my lot. My goal is to see your face. And hear you say well done. No glory in this world. No greatness here for me. No glory in this world. My great reward is you. I will trade you for gold. Your presence is my lot. My goal is to see your face. And hear you say well done. Hallelujah. I'll keep singing the song of saints till I read. <laughs> I assure you, I assure you, there is nothing here, nothing here, nothing here to, <laughs> to lose. <laughs> till I reach my home. <laughs> I'm not talking to you from what I have read. I speak to you of something that I know I have seen and I have handled. In this world, there's nothing, nothing in this world to enjoy. Nothing, I'm telling you, nothing. Your presence is my When you have the privilege to have serious intimacy with the Holy Spirit, you will see the futility of this world, the, the nothingness. No man that has ever met with Jesus will say, Master, leave me here. For me. It's always Jesus that says, you still have work to do. Some of, some of you, you are, you are living your life as you are living as if you want to build. This is where you will live forever. You are getting lost in oh Sometimes I laugh. Some people say, let Jesus not come home. May I want to make money. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you have not seen him. If by chance you meet him, Martins, if by chance you meet him, if the next thing that will come to your mind, if, he's going, if he wants to go, is master, take me with you. Sometimes I, I wonder how some of us, you, you just sit down and then you compare eternal glory to what is passing. You, you tell some person, Jesus, Jesus is coming very soon. I say, no woman never come home. May I won't marry. And then I sit down. I wonder, what has, hap what has happened to us that we are comparing eternity with time? a sign that we are not okay. So, something has happened to us we yet do not know. You are trading eternity for long life. <laughs> when, when I see the way some of us talk, ma, I, I know this one. I just, my prayer would be, Lord, please show this one what this one needs to know quickly. Quickly. Because we can't afford to lose another. You know, some of you, you are you are happy when you hear bad news about a, 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 a fellow minister. Yes, you should be happy because 
since you're not part of the body, you don't know where it hurts. So if we say pray for the church, it's hard for some of you to pray. It's because you are not part of the body. If you are, if you are part of the body, the pain, you will feel it. So can we take one more little time? And say, Lord, search me. It's possible to be a good minister and not be a Christian. <laughs> you see, time is not on our side. We would have gone through scriptures. So I, I, I will show you that it's very ministry has an act. Is you can practice and master it. You can you can master it and come before people and always do it. So can you pray that prayer quickly? As I leave your face, say, Lord, search me. Search me. Lord, search me. Don't let this appetite kill me. This is not a time to speak in tongues. It's a time to pray your understanding. Say, Lord, will you allow me perish like this? Will you? Will you allow this thing take me from your presence? Say, Lord, search me. Why do you preach the way you preach? Probably so that we should know that another apostle is rising. Why do you pray the way you pray? If there was no ministry for you, will you seek Jesus the way you are seeking him? Will you? Will you look? Will you? Will you stay to fellowship with the Lord the way you are fellowshiping with him? If there was no day that you will stand before a people and say, Hallelujah. We pray that prayer deeply. Say, Lord, search me. Tame this appetite for me. Don't let this thing tame me. Don't let it tame me. You know your appetite. The one that you know now, tame it. Say, Lord, Lord, make me your vessel. Make me an offering make me whatever you want me to be I came here with nothing but all you have given me Jesus bring new wine out of me make me your vessel make me an offering make me whatever I came here with nothing but all you have given me Jesus with you your backups. Come and come. Yeah, mama, don't tire. Please call them to come and we want to raise a sound over Nigeria 
I don't know if you know what is going on in the country. So it's, it's a simple song. It says, Oh, oh, we raise a cry to heaven, send our revival. Oh, oh, we raise a sound to heaven, send down revival. It's simple. Oh, oh, we raise a sound to heaven, send down revival. I'll take it again. Down to heaven, send down. Can we try one, two, three? Say, oh, oh, we raise a sound to heaven, send down fire. to Nigeria as a nation. We raise a sound to heaven. Send our revival now three more times. Oh, 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 oh. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. Send our revival. Send our revival. Oh, 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 oh. Sound to me. Send a revival Send now. A revival. Oh. 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 oh, come on, everybody. Oh, oh. oh. we raise a sound. We raise a sound. Send a revival now. Hallelujah. We will make this declaration and please I want you to be intentional about it. I'm joining my faith with Pastor Martins and Satsio Philos Sunday and every other minister here. Now listen to me. Every declaration we'll make here this morning will be effective. How many of you believe that? One of the ways to make an effective declaration is to declare and see it. Picture it happening. Nigeria is at a birthing season. What kind of Nigeria do you want to see? 
Now you're going to repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We speak to Nigeria. We speak to Nigeria. We speak to the youths of Nigeria. We speak to the youths of Nigeria. Let every man's heart. Let every man's heart. Born with uprightness. Born with uprightness. Let every man's heart. Let every man's heart. Born with uprightness. Born with uprightness. It is possible. See it happening. Let every man's heart. Let every man's heart. Born with uprightness. Born with uprightness. Let every man's heart. Let every man's heart. Born with the desire for good leadership. Born with the desire for good leadership. Let every man's heart. Let every man's heart. Born with the desire for good leadership. Born with the desire for good leadership. In 30 seconds, see it happening. Repeat after me, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We speak to the body of Christ in Nigeria. We speak to the body of Christ in Nigeria. We speak a massive awakening. 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 In the city of Port Harcourt. In the city of Port Harcourt. And beyond. And beyond. In the city of Lagos. In the city of Lagos. And beyond. And beyond. People are waking up. People are waking up. To the cry of purity. To the cry of purity. People are waking up. People are waking up. To the cry of purity. To the cry of purity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare and we declare. For the grand that the soul that people is arising in 30 seconds see it see it happening oh, 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 oh. we raise a sound to heaven send our revival now everybody sing oh, oh. Over Nigeria, over the borders of this territory, proclaim it, proclaim it, proclaim it. Sound to heaven, sound to heaven. Pray for the peace of our Jerusalem, Nigeria. Cut across all borders. We pray for our brothers in the north who declare that peace be still over Nigeria. In the name of our Lord Jesus, every blood sucking demon over this nation, if they fail to repent, they will lay to rest. Every blood sucking agents. In the name of politician, if they fail to repent, under the name of Elohim, they will be laid to rest. In the name of Jesus, any group that have made up their mind and desire to mortgage the destinies of youth, we raise a sound from this altar. Panesiba, Vriendoskeba, Landraskeba, Latai, who declare that their agenda will fail. In the name of Jesus, their blood will fail. In the name of Jesus, who is he that said a thing and it's coming to pass? When the Lord God has not commanded it not. I mean the God who frustrated the tokens of liars. The one who make a divine as mad. Disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. We declare over 2023 that their hands will not perform their enterprises. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we might not be in position, but we are in power. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the will of God over this nation will stand. We declare that the will of God over this nation will stand. In the name of Jesus, it is not a taboo that the church to politicize or declare that leaders are emerging from the church. 
who declare that leaders are emerging from the church in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and say in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus leaders are emerging from the church and it will plus me and it is plus me in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ before we say this Minister Samis will make the last declaration over Nigeria. Yes, sir. To make the last proclamation over Nigeria. We raise a sound to heaven. I come in agreement with everything that my brothers have said. And we declare that so shall it be in the name of Jesus.